Morning. Two loads of straw there, ready to be unloaded. You might have seen in yesterday's live, we got rained off um, after doing maybe a couple of hours bailing. Um, so we got four, four loads of straw. Three that size and one on Big Bertha. So um, I've got all them to unload today. And then, um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna get bailing because it's, it's wet, but I hope. Got dogs barking, Andy's taking that round so that I can get it unloaded. Yes, hello, don't eat me. No, I've been speaking to my brother and somebody around here has hit an all time low of criminality. Um, so he supplementary feeds um, some calves that he has in a field quite close to here um, with raw barley. Uh, put in what's called a creep feeder. So um, the calves have the milk off of the mothers, but they also get a supplementary feed of this, um, this raw barley. Somebody's been in the field, smashed the lock off, gone to the creep feed and emptied the creep feed of the barley. Hey, who does that? Hey, it's not, it's not worth that much. Do you know what I mean? Like, unbelievable. What does he do now? Does he feed him some more barley? Or does he stop feeding his calves barley? So that they're like more hungry? Because somebody might nick it. Honestly, like, people around here nick old. You can't leave anything. Anyways, that's what I'm doing now. Tipping roll barley in the mixer to feed my cows. Luckily, all eyes are still here. Nobody's stolen it. <laughs> um, then I've got a couple of loads of, well, three loads of straw to take off. And I've got this sorted. And is about blowing straw. Around there, look. Oh, my dad's about on the TM, feeding round. So Andy's pulled the trailers round here so I can get them all bashed on the stack. We're gonna go higher than this as well. We've got three here, three here, and then two. Well, we're gonna go three this next time. Oh, look at this, we've got a wasp come to see me. It's nice. So I drive into the bales like this. So my tines have gone in. Then I squeeze with the side tines. Do, 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 do. Lower it to the ground. So that's the safest way to move weight. Make sure that they're all stacked fairly squarely. These aren't too bad to be honest. Get close to the stack. Because what I'm doing here is if it all starts going south and for some reason we start leaning forward like that. I can always just run into the stack. Then... You see there's gaps between my bottom bales. That's to make the bottom wider than the top. These gaps here and these gaps here. And then what I do is as I'm moving up my stack, I start putting the, putting the bales closer and closer together until we get to the top layer where the, all the bales are touching. So then what we're doing is we're making a bit of a triangle. And also on the edges of the stack, I'll step every bale in a bit so everything's leaning that in that way and this side's leaning in that way. And then we should have a nice stable stack that uh, stands up straight all year. Um. <laughs> Uh, she's come for the. You've come for the frisbee, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, just have a go, because it's looks like it's caught behind the wire. Just pull up the wire. Don't pull the wire off, or else we might have serious issues. It's exceptionally important. <laughs> so that you can see you. Buzz, buzz. Buzz, thank you very much. No worries. And he's just getting the band out of the back of the lorry. Undone. Undone. Unloaded. I'm thinking about the straps. Unloaded two trailers now, I'll just get this one unloaded and then uh, then we're all empty. It's all stacked up nice and as dry as can be. Well, that's all trailers empty. And check that out now, we've gone nine eye. Three, six, nine. Yes. Now we're gonna um, 
back to some cows. Well, they're already doing it. Oh, check this out. You can see in my hat. The dogs have had it. So I'll have to get another one. So it's not a quality issue. It's a uh, dog issue. I seem to like hats at this farm. So we are just worming, vaccinating, fluking these cows. We don't normally have Frisians. Like. That's more of a dairy breed. Not an Angus. Come on. Another one here, I think, Em. Another Frisian or British Blue, actually. 1582. Got one tag. Oh, one tag, Em. It's a British Blue. I thought it was. When they've just got one tag, because they've lost one, like this one. What we'll do is we'll write in our management tag the number in case it for some reason loses that and we'll order another tag so that um, when we get that tag we can put the proper tag in so it's got two tags, two proper tags. Yeah, okay. Hey, so you were talking about the year 3000, weren't we? Yeah. yeah. So uh, um, how old will you be? 97. Be 97. Like yeah. Have you done maths on this, like? Yeah? Are you sure? All right, so you'll be alive in year 3000, definitely. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Good. You got your calculator up. Right, we're gonna do some quick maths. Um, just work out for me what 3000 minus 2022. Yeah. Equals. <laughs> what do you think that might be? <laughs> I hope you do live that long, Em. I, I hope I live that long. I'll be mint. <laughs> been having major issues with this. No, not major issues. We've been having issues with sand bricks, really, really tight to put on and take off. It's just undone all the bolts. I'm guessing the adjustment was on here, and uh, well, this bolt's loose, it's like finger tight. This one here, I'm guessing it shouldn't be finger tight loose. But uh, yeah, I want to take this cover off, but of course, it, it's not captive, it's you've got to undo that. And it's just adjusting now. So take loads off and then we'll see if we actually make any difference or not. Yes, yeah, so I think we've got that sorted now. Um, I was struggling to pull it up. Em was having to use two hands, like, it's no good. So, um, we're just going to have a dinner. and he's going to just put it all back together. Job's good, isn't it? Ticked off. Done. Better than calling JCB out to do that. Just, it only took us like five or ten minutes. Me and Em are now just been levelling this site up. And he's going to fetch us some tarmac and he's doing some milling at the same time. Is he on his way? Oh. Do you want to go and fill the mill up with other machine? So then it gives him time to fill it up and fetch you some down. Yeah, okay. So I am now just rolling everything down with the weight in the trailer. I've just got the um, the body tipped up so that I can see if there's any wire or anything sticking up. Or ordinarily, I wouldn't have it tipped up like this. So Andy's just shifting a few bits and bobs that were still left around here. You won't believe how long it's took me to roll this with the uh, with the trailer, but it's done uh, it's done a hell of a job. Like it's really pushed it in. Um, we don't have a vibrating roller, obviously, as we just farmers. I mean. It's quite good that we've uh, we've got a digger. Um, so yeah, we just have to use what we've got. So we've pushed it all in. I'm just going to check the levels a little bit now. We've got a load of tarmac in the back of the trailer, some chippings. We can put that down into the holes and hollers and just give it a bit of a nice finish here so we don't get stones through the straw blower. Em's just fetched me the trailer up here. 
gonna fill another load of tarmac so we can get it all nice to finish off down there. So I'm just tipping as we go. Down now. Nice line. That's that side all tracked in a little bit. Hi guys! Well, it's almost looking good. Em's just getting around the edges, just getting in the bits where I've not been able to reach with the bucket. And uh, yeah, fairly happy with that. It's looking well. So we'll just get the digger put away now and the JCB, get some feeding up done and probably be an early finish tonight or on time finish, should I say. Yeah, that is looking proper. I'm, I'm proud of that. It's looking good. Get plenty of straw stuck there, away from the other straw. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm, uh, M, M's on it. Getting the straw ball put on for Andy wherever he is. So we're just getting everything packed away. Em's tidying up Andy's mess, aren't you? Yes. Yes. So Andy's been doing some milling. Um, so we're just pushing that in. It's not really his mess. It just always creates a mess when we do some milling. So we just need to sweep it into the shed. Make sure we're getting everything. And it sounds like Andy's, ah, he's up there, look. Fetching in the mixer. There it is. AM, hey, um, how much money do you think we raised for mixed mentions? Good guess, good guess. How much does anybody else think we've raised for mixed mentions so far? Let us know in the comments below. Andy's um, just gonna go and fetch the other tractors in. We've been quite lazy, haven't we? We've not fetched any in. Like, I have, Hunter. Have you? I have all this mess. Oh yeah, you did actually, yeah. And I fetched the TM in. But then Andy's gone. We all, we all work together. So I'm just checking how much I work with me. <laughs> uh oh, you're not going to have that takeaway. <laughs> do you think everybody will want to know that, uh, about Andy? Or do you think Andy will want everybody to know about what's the big day tomorrow for Andy? Mm, it's Andy. Do you reckon he will? I think he will, won't he? Tomorrow is Andy's birthday. He's fifth. What? No, he's older than that. He's absolutely ancient. Oh. Oh. I got taxed on the last one as well. You've got taxed? Oh my god, Em. Um. No, that was the last one from this month. Oh, Alright, we'll have to sort it out. I don't like going up. We'll have to sort it out. We'll have to pay, we'll have to pay you less and then you don't have to pay no tax then. Yeah, go back to my standards, ways. I'm not doing that. <laughs> hey, Andy, it's a special day for you, isn't it? It's Andy's birthday tomorrow. I've already told everybody. How old are you going to be? Or is that a secret? Not quite 40. Not, he's not quite 40. He's not there yet. How old's 40, Em? 17. When, when you are? Still Em's still 17. Are you still 17, Andy? I remember when I was like 17, 18, and people who were like 20 some are old, aren't they? Yeah. So like people who are like nearly 40 are like absolutely ancient. I know, I know. Thank you. Thank you, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll all have to remember to wish Andy a happy birthday for tomorrow. Enjoy your day with us. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. We'll have a nice day at work. It's a privilege. <laughs> so um, anyway, we're going to end the video here because everybody wants to go home. Um, if you've liked it, please press that like button. If uh, you're happy for Andy's happy birthday, press that like button. <laughs> uh, subscribe if you've not already, and. Um, yeah, we'll catch you all tomorrow. Business? Business. <laughs> We've had a very productive day today. That's all sorted down there. Em has learnt that um, the year 3000 is a bit further away than she initially expected. We knew what you th we knew what you meant. You'll be in, in 100 maybe, yeah. 21 2100 Yeah. How, what will they call that? 2137 No, because it's not 2100, is it? 2000, the year 2100
Yeah, 2,100. It's weird, isn't it? <clears throat> I wonder if anybody will watch this video in the year 2,100 and put yeah, a comment. Do you know, like... like them videos from yeah. <laughs> Em, if you're still alive in when it, you know, on first of January, twenty one hundred, just just come and pop a comment on this video for us, will you? <laughs> I don't think me and Andy will be there to be honest. So, <laughs> but anyway, on that really, you know, sad note. I think, I think it's time to go. Bye. <laughs>